Today we're talking to some locals from the island of Billy Novi about what they know about plastic. So can you list some forms of plastics that you can think of? Um, the plastics that I use are like Tupperware, um, plastic cutlery, plastic plates, and yeah. <laughs> I use plastic water bottles and like styrofoam. Have you ever thrown away any of these items? Uh, yeah, I've <laughs> recycled a lot of plastic. Um, it's like plastic's like a form of material that it's easy to dispose of, but like if it's not properly disposed of, then it can cause like a lot of problems. Yeah, I, I use plastic. I use plastic water bottles every day, so I recycle them like all the time. Did you know that clothing could be made from plastics? I actually no, didn't know I that. <laughs> not in depth. Do you know what polyacrylometrial or pan is? So pan is a form of plastic. Do you think that it's harmful to the environment? I think most plastic is harmful to the environment because it doesn't really biodegrade. Is that the word? Yeah, biodegrade. So pan is used in the making of clothes. Do you think that it is recyclable? And how do you think it can be recycled? Um, I think that it could be recycled. I don't know how because I think clothing will always like be used and like I don't think there's ever a need for you to like recycle the fiber, but I could be wrong. Yeah, you could always reuse it. Yeah. Ninety percent of carbon fibers are made from polyacrylonitrile, or PAN, a derivative of petroleum that is produced as follows. Crude oil is extracted from the ground and transported to an oil refinery. During refinement, about 2% of the oil is made into propylene, which becomes feedstock for a petrochemical plant. While processing at the petrochemical plant, propylene and ammonia are combined during an amoxidation process. The result is the production of acrylonitrile, the monomer or base unit of PAN. The process moves to a polymerization stage during which the acrylonitrile is combined with catalysts and comonomers and reacted to produce PAN. The PAN passes through a drying step and is dissolved in a carrier solvent. It is then pumped and filtered. The PAN is extruded through a dye into a solvent bath to form the filaments that appear here in fine strands. A filament cross-section can take on a variety of shapes. Textile-grade fibers, as shown here, are often kidney-shaped and highly porous. The filaments undergo repeated cycles of stretching and washing, during which the strands are banded together and the filaments become longer and thinner. As the solution is washed away and the filaments are stretched, the porous voids collapse, aligning molecular orientation to create a stronger fiber and the desired fiber diameter. The filaments continue through repeated steps of stretching and this time a boiling wash. The cross-section of the filament continues to hold its shape as the diameter collapses and it becomes less porous. Next, finishing oil is applied to protect the fibers and make them easier to handle. As illustrated here, the diameter is now even smaller and the porous nature of the filament has collapsed even more. The filament is then packaged, illustrated here by crimping and baling.